How's it going, everyone? This is the Rooftop Mariner. I'm going to my first Mariners game of the 2023 season and also, I guess, the second time filming a game. So you're going to see the experience of me going to the game with a couple friends. Also, you're going to see what I'm going to eat. I will show that as I'm waiting on this lift. How was your fantasy team? Oh, yeah. Let me take a look. Oh, my gosh. Getting killed, 141 to 91, and the worst part of it, my catcher Will Smith isn't even playing today. Hey, McLovin, how's your team? Bad. Like how badly? Let me see how it's team, how your team's doing. I'm playing a good team. Man. You're playing Nelson, a guy who hasn't even checked his lineups in yeah, but ever. Team is really good. He's really he doesn't sick. have to check. Wait, I thought you you were like the baseball king of this league. Yep, this isn't even the back of the line. I am convinced even if we got here like at 12 p.m., it wouldn't have made a difference one bit. So come to think of it, the chances of us getting a Julio Rodriguez bobblehead? Very low. 100%. 100%. Someone says 100%. This line is going on and on into the freeway. That's freaking hilarious. On top of waiting in line for this long, I can also hear Frozen Let It Go going off. That just adds to it. So this line is literally all over a Julio Rodriguez bobblehead. Yeah, what about like a uh, Scott Service bobblehead night? If it was a Scott Service bobblehead night, I'm sure there would be leftovers. You could probably grab like two or three. You could probably grab so many, they and you probably can't even resell it. They wouldn't even care. Yeah, they wouldn't it. care. Probably, because he's really not that good of a manager. He just had to put in Trevor Gott last night. Yeah, he got no skill. So once again, I went to the wrong line again. And now I think we found the right line this time. Actually, this general line actually seems a lot better than the season ticket line. Pretty awkward feeling. Looks like I'm getting the bobblehead after all this weight. Thank you. And look at that, I got the Julio bobblehead. Congratulations to ourselves. After accidentally waiting in line in the two incorrect lines. How about that? So we finally got to the game. We finally got our Julio Rodriguez bobblehead. It's kind of funny how we went to the wrong line twice and there was a season ticket. And then we went to the general line. We got there instantly. So, so here's this Mariner's helmet. It's also full of my nacho bundle. Check that out. So how much was this? When I got this plus the Sprite, $33.08. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it really quick and see if it see how it tastes. It's actually pretty decent. Now the bigger question is, is it really worth $33.08? because the, the helmet itself was $24. So you have to account to this helmet plus the nachos. So I'll find out later and see if it's really worth it. So I went ahead and did some research and compared the prices between getting the nachos at a Mariners game or just getting the nachos at a restaurant and buying that same similar type of helmet. So at one of my favorite restaurants, Hops and Drops, which is around in Washington, the nachos I would typically get is $16 and it has a lot more stuff in it. It has a lot more cheese, has a lot more toppings on top of it. And it is something that you can actually share with amongst all your friends. And then when I looked at the little plastic bowl helmets, on, Am on Amazon, they were selling for about $3 a piece. So cost-wise, you're better off getting the stuff outside of the stadium. So I'm here with the Couch GM. Here he is right here. How's He's, it going? Yep. 
He's making a really good YouTube channel. It's up to 2,500 subscribers. Keep following it as much as you can. Let's get him going. So, Couch GM, how do you feel about the Mariners in the first two games? Yeah, I mean, it's been up and down. Uh, Luis Castillo looked awesome. Bobby Ray, he's now in the IL uh, after last night's outing. But hopefully they can get their bats going. Teoscar Hernandez heat up. Julio Rodriguez hit, had a couple doubles last night. Um, Holden Wong looked look good. If we can get Kelnick having some solid at bats like he has the past couple of days and throughout spring training, then I think uh, we're looking pretty good. Yeah, I would agree with that. But and that Robbie Ray thing is very concerning. But and it's pretty sad because at first we were thinking, oh, he was just having an off game. He'll bounce back. But then we go, oh, it's an injury. But knowing that. What are your expectations on, like, let's say the Bryce Millers of the world or Emerson Hancock? Like, do you expect anyone to step up? Yeah, because, I mean, Robbie Ray looked great this spring training up to 97. His velocity was back up. Um, but, yeah, Bryce Miller, I I think he's going to do great this year. Um, that, might, that might just shorten the timetable until we actually see him this year. And if, if we can have him in the rotation at some point, that would be awesome. Uh you know, there's mixed opinions on Robbie, uh, on Marco Gonzalez and Chris Flexen, where they slot in the rotation in the bullpen. If we can have Bryce Miller in that rotation and have basically no weaknesses in the rotation, then that's uh, a great spot to be in, I think. Yeah, sounds about right. And one thing I also noticed is they changed the rafters from the ALCS to wild card. My, I'll go with my opinions. I don't like it because I... I think of it as it's lowering the standards. So I guess each time we make the playoffs, they're just going to slap another one up there. Kind of reminds me of a participation trophy, but what are your thoughts on them changing the rafter? Honestly, it's kind of surprising that we've only won the AL wild card in 2000 and 2022. It's been 22 years since the last AL wild card. So, I mean, hopefully we can get, blow past that and win the AL West sometime soon. But, I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining, I guess. Either... AL West or at least the World Series and definitely win one. And so how are you feeling about tonight's game with Logan Gilbert on the mound? I'm feeling pretty good. I think Logan Gilbert will come out strong with that new splitter. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, thank you for your time, Couch GM. And remember, follow his channel as much as I want you guys to follow mine. watching Tino Martinez throw out the ceremonial first pitch.
He was a first baseman in 1995. Oh, by the way, I made a video about him on the Tino Martinez trade. Please check that video out. All right, guys, goodbye only. Don't forget it. Hogan's on fire. Strike one with two outs in the top of the first. I, oh, already a hit given up with two outs. But he's on my fantasy team. It's okay. It helps me. It got me one point, Greg. Right, aren't you happy for me? Greg? For what? My fantasy guy, Jose Ramirez, got a hit. Oh, wow. He doesn't care, obviously. Nope. And that's a strike, too. Is one more strike really too much to ask? Greg, is one more strike really a lot to ask? No. I think it is, the way it's going. Team. Yes. He hasn't earned my clappings yet. He's too new. They're saying can't be worse than Frazier, but I wouldn't be so sure about that. Oh! Oh! Nope! 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 It looked good for a second, but... Ty France, huh? We'll see how he goes. He's batting 571. But it's only been two games. And he's not on my fantasy team. Who has Ty France? You have Ty France, don't you? This guy, that guy, the cameraman. He picked all the Mariners. He stole my playbook. I think he stole at least one of them. I was looking at Luis Castillo. I was looking at Luis Castillo. And here goes Julio. And he's safe. You get the stolen base. Ah, he's out. Not even close. Top of the fourth. This game is really rolling along. He was not a third baseman. He wasn't bad. Oh! It's gone. It is gone. It's a home run by the Cleveland Indians. How about that? They are recognizing a man that served in the army. Sounds like the Persian Gulf War.
Or not. As we are looking for food, they actually have this entire map of where to find it. This is actually quite helpful. And we're looking for this Asian food called Din Tai Fung. It's in 132 section, so we have to go down there. So we're gonna get some food again. We're doing another review. It's gonna be called the Din Tai Fung in section 132. So if you want to check out Din Tai Fung, go to section 132 at T-Mobile Park. So we are now waiting in line for Din Tai Fung. And if you want to know how big this line is, let me just show you right now. The line is that long. It goes that way pretty much. And I'm willing to bet that it is the most popular food in this entire stadium. I remember when I went to a Seattle Storm game at Climate Pledge Arena, it was so popular that I tried to buy one and it was actually sold out. So whatever Din Tai Fung is doing, they're doing something right. So while I'm waiting in line to get some food, Scott Service pulls out Logan Gilbert who was pitching just fine on 85 pitches. And as soon as he pulls him out for Diego Castillo, he hits a home run, gives up a home run. Oh, take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever get back, so let's root, root, root for the Mariners. They don't win, it's a shame. Yes, it is. Oh, it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball game. But yeah, you shouldn't have pulled out Logan Gilbert. Look what happened. All right, so my buddy just got me these. And these were for $9. We shall see how it is. Now, probably in any other Chinese restaurant, you'd probably get three of these for $9. But let's just see if it's really worth $9 here. I'm totally doing this wrong for sure. It's okay. I like the meat, but not so much of not so much on the outsides. It feels a little bit dry. Now, would I spend nine dollars for these? Unfortunately, probably not. I think there's something more I can get for maybe a little bit more, but something a little bit more of value. So out of all of my game going experiences as a fan, the most favorite I've had so far are the French fries and the chicken strips together. I think those go for around 12 to 15 bucks. If it's 12, I would totally choose this over this, unfortunately. I wouldn't say that this is exactly worth nine bucks because if I go to any other restaurant, probably be we'll get a little bit more out of it but also understand that this is a stadium and stadium food is known to be expensive and those are my thoughts if you also had any of these let me know and see what you think of it three two i guess the the pitching clock adds the excitement of three two one we're not at NBA game. i don't like it they gotta bring it back.
this is not helping the game. That's gonna get really annoying really fast. This really is not baseball. It makes the game go way too fast. Oh, how, where's that gonna go? Oh, oh, it's going, it's going! Yes, he's going to second base. Mastella with the double. Mastella with the double. Let's go get into it. Let's see what they can do. Charge! He was literally just looking at it. Do you like it how I'm I'm just mocking it? He struck out. All right. And as you can see, the fans, they are already leaving. Look at that. And look at that. The game is over. The Cleveland Indians win once again, 2 nothing. The loss will go to Logan Gilbert, of course. But I'd say the loss goes to Scott Service once again for putting in Diego Castillo, giving up that home run, which killed every bit of confidence on the offense. I know everyone is saying that the offense is the problem. I still don't think it's the problem. It's Scott Service's atrocious pitching management decisions. This game ended at 844. This game was just two hours. Let's go. I am dead serious. No. Two hours. Well, anyways, I got to go. So we're waiting on a lift right now, and I actually previously canceled one because a guy basically told me to. And then I got the same lift driver. Well, not the same lift driver, but he's on like the same proximity that the other lift driver was at. But unfortunately, he told me that he's stuck in traffic. But this time, I told him that I could wait because I don't want to pay another three bucks worth of cancellation. So I just, it just keeps adding up when I do something like that. The only thing I really enjoyed out of this game, it was literally trying out some food, getting this helmet, getting this Julio Rodriguez bobblehead that I will do a review on, but that's about it. And of course, I also got to meet the Couch GM, which by the way, subscribe to his channel when you get that opportunity. Uh, Greg, so how'd you feel about the game? Uh, it was okay. It was okay, but we, we lost the game. The offense was the problem. The offense is not yes, the problem. You can't expect the offense to just keep scoring every single game. Sometimes the pitcher just has to hold. How are you going to lead? You get shut out, Joe. But you have to have a pitcher that leads that will it give the team won't confidence. Do you, you, you don't know that. Yes, I do. Uh huh. Okay, but how about this? Did. Did Scott Service have to put in Trevor Gott the day before? And did he have to put Diego Castillo? Diego is not that bad. He is absolutely atrocious. He was bad last year, and he's bad this year. Where's our Uber? Let me check my Lyft man. <laughs> Greg just said Uber, but it's Lyft. You're at Atlantic first, right? Where'd Edgar Martinez drive out? Edgar Martinez drives south, if that helps. Also looking at First Avenue South. And the Ken Griffey Jr. statue. But until then, let's take a look at this Ken Griffey Jr. statue. So check out the Ken Griffey Jr. statue with that nice, sweet swing. And fun fact, someone actually stole this bat. Look at this bat over here. Someone actually stole it a long time ago. Luckily, they, they put it back together. I wonder if they caught the guy. I'm not sure if they did. But let me read this. It goes, one of the greatest players in baseball history. The kid was the face of the game for over two decades. 1989 and 2010. Wait, he wasn't the face 
of baseball from at least 2001 to 2010. I will say that. So they got that wrong. And was inducted as a Mariner into the National Baseball Hall of Fame on July the 24th, 2016, which was well-deserved, to be fair. But, man, we are still waiting on this lift. Sometimes I wonder if we were better off just waiting for the bus. And let me check where he's at. He is still stuck. That's pretty sad. Don't even got to Joe, don't even got to third base. But the fortunate thing is we are oh, finally in the Uber seatbelt. or Lyft, shall I say. <laughs> and they're trying to get their seatbelts buckled. And we finally got back with our Lyft ride. Well, thank you for dealing with me in this show. And hopefully I'll be back for another Mariners game. And hopefully they will win this time. Alright. Peace out. Go M's.